Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Making Clothes with Mudflap. Well, today you're going to get my rant day. Why? Because I haven't had a rant day <coughs> yet. Oh. Sorry. So big it didn't want to come out of the container. So where do we want to start with our rant day today? Hmm, Baba Kush. Start with work. Everything's going fairly good with work. Like, everything's coming together really, really nice. But I gotta say, I was expecting a door delivery today for somebody else's project because they're away on vacation and I was going to take care of it and me and my son were going to get the doors down to the job site today and they were going to get hung tomorrow with the extra workers and whatnot. Doors did not show up. No big deal. Except for tomorrow's the baseball game and we're leaving at 9.30. So, seeing as there's only a couple girls in the office and maybe the owner. My son's got the day off tomorrow because he has an audition for a play. So, what do I do? Do I go and enjoy the game or do I take off or stick around and wait for the doors to come and get the delivery ready for the next day for them to be installed now? Of course, that's what I'm going to do. If the doors show up early in the morning, I'm not going to have to go. Uh, or I'm going to be able to go to the game. If not, I'm going to have to stick around and wait for the delivery. Which I'm fine with, because not anybody can just lift 100-pound doors off the truck. And there's eight of them. So, I will take care of that situation. Second thing that I want to rant about today. Also about work. And I'm sorry if this is going to sound a little... I don't want to say prejudice, and it's not, not that I don't, that I have something against gay people, but I've got this transgender person at work, and I've said good morning three days in a row, and not even an acknowledgement, and that fucking pisses me off, you big girl dude, I, I, like, just at least fucking acknowledge me, okay? Like, that's just fucking ignorant. I'm different, too. I don't need that shit. That bothers me, okay? Out of all the things, at least you can do is show some sort of acknowledgement when somebody walks by you and says good morning. I don't care how different you are. It's just interactions with humans. And if you don't fucking want to be one, then... <sighs> Sorry, that just pisses me off worse than anything. I got freaking homeless people with no teeth and nothing in their life will say something to me just because you got your fucking dick cut off. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> but I was a little perturbed. This is my rant, so, yeah. <sighs> Come home, the wife's not slept, which is usual for a night shift worker. And the sidewalk stuff. Hey everybody. Well, it looks like another day of Karen getting no sleep. They were digging for the sidewalk. No big today. deal. We expected it. Actually looks kind of good. They damaged a little bit of the edge of the flower bed, but it was getting rotted anyways from all the water. I can show you that. Yeah. So it looks like they got some of this done today, most of it. Um, town Council makes their final approval on Monday, so it's kind of weird that they've started it so quickly, but we'll do what we can to make sure they do it right. See if maybe they can help us with our flower bed here that they so graciously damaged, which was already damaged, but so graciously damaged. Karen was pointing out this beautiful pink flower. You know me and my damn flowers. Actually, if you see that and how they've kind of started the sidewalk, if you look down, actually, let me rephrase that. I'll put another picture in here from this morning before they did the other side of the sidewalk. Or digging for the sidewalks. Huh? Well, they've started the curb renovation on the other side. 
as you can see, there's no way they could have put sidewalks there. Especially when the curb was down there. There's just no way. Taryn said it was quite noisy all day yesterday. Pounding, obviously. Until I start this side. I'm going to have a beer, but if I get to go to the game tomorrow, I will enjoy a beer at the game tomorrow. So I don't want to have one tonight. Does that make sense? And if I don't go tomorrow, then I wish I had had one tonight. I'm not stressed. I'm just ranting. I get to rant every once in a while. What else would I want to rant about today? Something good at work today? <coughs> we had some uh, representatives from the fiberglass door company come down. Um, Decanter, Michigan, I think they're from. And I believe the plant where they make the frames is in Georgia somewhere. Anyways, they came down and they um, wanted to talk to us because we're installing this big one tomorrow at Fanshawe College in Woodstock. And we wanted to discuss some of the details that we wish they would do different that they didn't even think about. So they were really impressed with, one, how we order them and how much detail we put into it that most don't. And two, that we had offered them some um, conduct constructive criticism shall we say on how to make their product better for all situations especially us with electrified hardware and not a lot of people dealing with that because you have to nowadays what so much stuff is electrified anyways there's the sales rep and myself who ordered the doors uh, and then the two gentlemen the one from the states and the Canadian rep and we're going to look at the product and uh, so Paul introduces the, the, the couple other gentlemen from our company, and then Paul is obviously, well, sorry, not obviously. Paul is the owner of our company, and then he introduces me as the door expert, door and frame expert. And I thought, holy shit, I've never been called an expert in anything in my life before, so that was kind of nice to hear. But I guess after doing something for 30 years, you should get the title of expert I always thought maybe if I was an expert of anything it was knowing a little bit about cannabis that I believe I have some knowledge of and can help people with don't want to be on the cover of a door hardware Institute but high times would be an honor oh, I needed this to be I did have a couple of uh, dabs of rosin before I initially went outside. I was just talking to the neighbor lady. <coughs> when I originally went out to film the front construction work when I got home. So she was out there uh, watching her granddaughter and thought I'd see what was going on. I'm glad I talked to her. It's kind of funny hearing that. This the work they're doing is going to town council on Monday for approval. Yeah. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous night. It's starting to warm up a little bit, obviously, as you can see by my attire. But the mornings are cool, very cool. Tomorrow's supposed to be a very humid day again. Great day for afternoon baseball game or so I would have thought wow Doggies are starting to get a little restless. It's time to go in and maybe make some supper. We were going to make up a ham tonight, but this is a little warmer. I'm not overly starving, so I think we're just going to have some eggs, maybe a couple omelets, and some rye toast. And of course, bacon. Got to have bacon with your eggs. Big bacon fan. 
I think I was watching something the other day by Watermelon. Mary Jane, or Mary June Dunstan. Watermelon girl. She does a lot of cannabis cooking on YouTube. She made medicated bacon. Amongst other things. Didn't really get a chance to listen to any music today. This is one of those days of figuring things out. Mm, up and down away from my desk. It was a quick day. It was a very quick day. Well, especially when you're thinking you're going away the next day and trying to get stuff done. You, I don't know, I was just ready. And then three o'clock, realized this might not be happening. And we were giving them the benefit of the doubt until four and I waited around until 4.30 and it's like, I gotta go. I don't think they're coming. I'm not a big baseball fan anyways, but who doesn't mind going to a game? I won't miss the drunken uh, brouhaha's and all that stuff, but it'll be nice to get out with your fellow co-workers and have a, a nice afternoon of debauchery. More debauchery for them, me sitting back and laughing at them. I get kind of quiet in those kind of crowd situations. Observant. I like to watch the people. That's what I do like about going to games. Is the people watching. Especially the drunk people watching. Alcohol is such a big part of uh, professional sports. Which surprises me considering that it's 12 or $15 for a beer or any of those things. Well, looks like we're winding down on our doobage. I was trying to follow the doobage. Whew. Mr. Tedward? What are you saying? You hear some doggies? And Tessa, you're at the gate line again. Fence line, gate line. Listen to me. I am a little tired today. It was a mentally stressful day. Sorry, not stressful. Mentally taxing day. Anyways, my friends. I'm going to head out and leave you with the doggies. Hopefully you're proud of your clouds because mine dissipated into up there. Aren't they cool? They're moving kind of neat too. What's that Teddy? You hear that doggy? Teddy, you hear that doggy? Edward, what are you chewing on? Are you chewing on a stone? Are you? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, you were. Silly boy. Look at my silly boy. You are such a good dog. Such a good dog, aren't you? Yes. Hello, my buddy. Hello. Yes, you're such a good boy. Yeah, you're my buddy. My buddy. And what's Tessa doing? Miss Tessa, girl. Tessa, what do you see there? Nothing is moving over there. You see that snake go in there once, and all summer you've been obsessed with it.